large plantations such as this one, the women's role in the life of the farm was very important. The moment they walked in the door in the morning, to the time they left, it was always work, long lists for them to be completed. The daily housework was very important to the man of the family. And it wasn't just the wives of the plantation owners that had to work, it was also the eldest daughter's job to help her. Early in the day, meals had been started. Meat had to be cured, rolls baked, everything for the rest of the family. Separate tables were also set for the slaves and other paid workers. Daily menus were followed for each of the meals. Teas and coffees were brewed almost at an hourly rate. And there was always something that the women were baking. The pantry was a place you'd find most women, mixing spices, herbs, and flour. After dinner, the dishes were required to be done by the women while the men went back out to work in the late afternoon. Laundry was also another job expected of them. The women would spend many hours in the washroom, rinsing and soaping up clothes, before taking them outside to be hung. It was often a team effort between the women of the family, but not always. Sometimes just the wives would be forced to do whole loads of laundry for the entire family as well as workers, though they were also expected to do their own. Sometimes prized livestock, sheep, horses, cattle, and goats were also expected to be fed by the women. This was often a dirty or messy job, but was always done before the late afternoon. Women were also held liable for any missing animals that disappeared within the time of their work. They often participated in the slaughter of animals and then went to prepare them for the next meal. And just general cleanup was expected to keep the plantation looking the nicest possible. Many plantations had their own chicken coop and the women were expected to do the daily feeding. Working in the fields was also a big part of their day. Sometimes they worked the same amount as some of the slaves. And the garden always had to be kept up. As well as the pruning of hedges and bushes along the perimeter of the plantation. Plantation houses were actually between two and three stories high. The women were up and down the stairs all the time. The making of each bed in the house was the women's job, not the individual family members. And the list goes on and on. The wives also participated in the keeping of the husband's estates, money, and other funds. By the time those jobs were done, it was often late afternoon to evening. The women were then required to also take down the laundry, fold it, and replace it back in all the family's rooms. Women were also required, especially the wives, to repair and fix any ripped or torn clothing, as well as teach the children and other students math, geometry, history, and other forms of schoolwork that would not begin in a public education until later. But most children did not get higher than an eighth grade reading level, because that's all that their parents had. These women left school and got married at a very early age. They had very little free time, and what they had of it was spent with the other women and girls, as well as repairing and cleaning their own clothes, which they were alone responsible for, as well as everyone else's. And the only downtime these women would have would have been spent reading. Very rarely did they ever leave the plantation without the accompaniment of an adult white male, which was not always their husband. Often the women felt trapped, like there was no escape. Because there really wasn't.